What's going on everybody? Welcome to G Myers World and yes, the time is now. The time is here. Randy Moss super fast. He's scary fast and he's in packs. No, he's not in packs. I, I, come on, bro. He ain't in no packs. This is what it is right here, right? Similar situation. You're going to go over to item sets. You're going to go to most feared. You're going to look for the scary fast, all right? You should have already seen my videos about the scary tall and the scary strong. The scary fast, pretty much right now with the stuff that's going on, there's no tokens involved with this, all right? It looks like it's all scary fast players, so there's no tokens like the uh, Tony Gonzalez. Um, I'm going to show you all the cards. That's what we're going to go through, and I'm going to let you know why I'm not interested in some of these cards. I've been waiting to try to get a card that I can utilize other than Big Ben because Big Ben, the 91 overall, is a horrible quarterback in this game. So let's go ahead and take a look really fast. Russell Wilson, he has an 84 throw power. That's not going to work for me, okay? It's just not going to work for me. It may work for you. If it does, that's cool. But I like to throw the ball deep. I like to make sure that it gets to where it needs to go. And an 84 throw power just isn't cutting it. Um, he is, you know, 85 speed is not bad. And obviously right now with the way conservative is under the uh, coaching settings, he's more than likely not going to fumble and going to frustrate you a lot. But that's neither here nor there. He's not a card that I want. This card right here, Anthony Barr. I, what did they up his speed to? 87? Okay. He's at 87 speed, but what you're going to want to look at is his catching stats. At 77, it's pretty decent. You may be somebody like myself that's been struggling trying to figure out what is this, this perfect timing thing. Because for some reason, even when you, you just tap it perfectly or you, you press it when the quarterback releases the ball, it doesn't matter. They drop the ball. Um, I've had games where Anthony Barr, my regular one that I have, which is the 86 overall team leader, has intercepted everything. I've had games where he intercepts nothing. It's part of the game. It's something that we're going to have to deal with and figure out what's going on. Um, but I'm not sure, other than his speed, why it would be worth getting him. Let me check. What is he going to go to? Did it show it on the bottom of his card? What is he going to go to? He's going to go to 90, okay, 97 speed with 97 Excel for 48 hours. So that's going to be really cool to have him at a 97 speed like that. Um, you know, as far as that goes for the actual promo for those two days. Kyle Long, Really? Fast like that? What is the speed going to be? Let's see what's going on with that. I, you know, this ha having a left guard that's fast and stuff like that and with that kind of impact blocking, you know, regardless if you want him for the most feared uh, speed uh, for those two days, 10.30 to 11.1, I like his impact block. Impact block means so much in this game. I might have to end up getting him and just keeping him because that impact block is looking really, really glitchy right now. Like, extremely, extremely glitchy. So, I might have to end up doing that. Mikhail, what is it? It's Michael. You know, I, mean, I, I call him how his name is spelled. And people are like, no, it's Michael. It looks like Mikhail. Like, I don't really care. But I'm going to call him Michael because the Eagle fans really get crazy about it. All right, let's check him out. He's a right outside linebacker, 88 speed. And he's going to go to 97 speed, uh, 97 Excel. Okay. That's not bad. But 88 speed is pretty good because if I get him on the outside... But that'll be too fast, uh, middle, okay, right outside linebacker. I don't know if I really want to do it because he's six foot. I would say you could use him, but he's going to get dotted over the top. Barr is going to be a huge sell just simply because he's 6'5 and he's that fast. So I would probably go with that. This Jason Verrett, he can't be going for that much. I'm about to say because he, he garbage probably. Um, man coverage, zone coverage, 85. Yeah, he's not really doing nothing. 91 speed. That's a lot. That, that's pretty good. That's going to probably work uh, for a lot of things. But that zone coverage situation... It's not going to be too good, so I wouldn't really worry about that card. That de that card definitely won't be um, a huge seller. And um, finally, Deshaun Jackson, uh, most feared, 92 speed. So he's now the same speed as OBJ, just doesn't have the catching stats. Okay, and then he's going to obviously go to whatever 90. What is it? A 97 speed, 97 excel, all that stuff. All right. So now that you've looked at all of the captains, right? These are the guys that you're going to need to get to put into the set for Randy Moss. You're not going to be able to use tokens. I repeat, all the tokens that you have, that's going to go towards the Gonzalez set, all right? That's straight grinding for whatever you want to do with that. Scary Fast Elites, you can still do the same thing. As far as the gold Scary Fast players, you get an Elite Scary Fast player. A Scary Fast Captain, any Elite Scary Fast player. Uh, scary Strong to Scary Fast. If you got that and you want to try to swap it with that, but how many Scary Strong players are you going to have unless you bought packs before? You know what I'm saying? I didn't buy any packs, so I'm not going to have a lot of those. But those prices are going to, you know, most likely vary if you want to do it that way and grind it out. 
but they are giving you a lot of different opportunities. You know, you got the Evan Ingram, you got Anthony Brown, you got a lot of cards with lower overalls. And that's a huge thing that they gave uh, Tariq Cohen the card because Bears fans been really, really crazy about, you know, a lot of Eddie Jackson not getting any love and stuff like that. So that's pretty huge for them. They got the Tavon Austin at wide receiver, which I wouldn't recommend. Marshawn Lattimore, you know, let, let's see what's going on. He had 92 speed now. So now that should mean that if you did this set, the um, the actual set for, um, what is it? You know, the uh, rookie premiere for Madden 17. Your, your Marshawn Lattimore is now a 92 overall. So, and then what, uh, he's going to go to a 96 speed. Uh, during that weekend so you know you could get them just to have them but this is another way of trying to get those other elite cards putting these cards in the set um those are just some of the standouts that i wanted to show you um to get those captains but let's go ahead to the solo side because we know as you guys know i'm gonna grind and see what i can do as far as that goes to get as many cards as possible to help with the set so when you look at it right here you're going to have the Daily Scare, which gives you tokens. And then you're going to have the Trick or Treat. These are all new. And you're going to get some gold, scary, fast players. Obviously, they're Nats. And then the final solo is going to give you a Nat, scary, fast player. All right? A Nat, elite, scary, fast player. Whichever one that is. So that's one way that you can go ahead and try to grind it out. Get some more tokens. Do whatever. Um, you know, but it's 21 games. If you want to go ahead and grind it out like that, it'll help you to get the Gonzalez. You know what I'm saying? You do these. You do that. Uh, if you guys are still trying to get the Gonzalez. In addition, the Gauntlet Unleashed is now available for the weekend. So you got those three games. You could do a, um, you know, auctionable pack and see what happens with that. But for now, because we know that everything is in packs, let's see what we can pull from the packs that we got from Weekend League last week. Um, the Fantasy Pack is still going to be the same, though. Uh, most fit items in all rounds, including Elites. So that's good that they've done that. Uh, that makes it a, a little bit more uh, appealing. So now... The most feared scary bundle, $89. Are you serious? $89? Bruh, like dudes are really going to be losing their houses this weekend. All right, so look. The way this, okay, can say 20 gold most feared packs and a bonus spooky fantasy pack. All right, that's too spooky for my blood, bro, because I'm not about to do that. Like, I love me some Randy Moss. I might end up dropping it, you know what I'm saying? But I don't, what is this one not most feared gold player? Um, so it's $15 for these, $89 for that, 50k for that. Yeah, I, I don't know about all this, bro. Like, th these prices are starting to get $89, though. Well, I guess, you know, they had some times where they were actually $100. So I guess they're trying to say they're saving us money now. But I'm going to go ahead and stay away from that. What I will do is I'm going to open the packs, like I said, that I got from Weekend League. I'm going to go Tier 2. No, let's go tier, let's go tier 1 first. Let's see what we got out of these packs so you guys can see... And you can gauge my pack luck as well. Because it's Randy Moss, we're going to try to snatch him up. All right, so these are goals. No elites. Okay, elite. Yo, oh, okay, 81. David Andrews, that's a trash card. All right, so this was all garbage. Um, nothing to really write home about. So this is another reason why I don't know if I want to do those fantasy packs. And I don't know if you guys should do it, but a lot of you guys probably already did it. Because that Randy Moss is just straight glitchy. All right, let's go this way. Is that elite? Nope, this elite. Uh, okay, 80. Uh, see, see this, this right here? Yeah, this ain't going to be a good look. I don't know if I'm buying packs. Like, if EA's doing me like that, like drying those weekend league, I don't know, bro. I don't know if this going to work out for us this weekend. Let me see what's going on. What we got? It? Okay, that's another gold pack. All right, gold. Gold. Elite 81. Jimmy Ward. Okay, two Jimmy Wards. This is when you know EA just doesn't care about your problems, bro. When you get two Jimmy Wards, EA is telling you, listen, don't buy packs this week. Just don't buy packs. Because what, yo, what are the odds... Of that happening to me right there. You know what I'm saying? What are the odds, really? Um, you know, for the love... I'm, I'm trying to see. I don't know what I would probably be able to pull. But I don't know if I want to spend that $89 just to try to get Randy Moss. And looking at the prices, I don't know what I could really snipe, though. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to grind the solos. I'm going to see what I get. And then if I only need, like, a couple things, I would probably go and try to complete this to get... Um, to get that Randy Moss, but I'm not really going to go too crazy about it, just simply because the prices are wild right now. Okay, so they're bringing him down. His price is dropping rapidly. So Randy Moss should be attainable after I do my solos. But this guy is probably going to remain um, the highest thing. We saw earlier when I just started the video, he was at like 600k, and then now look at what his price is. So we'll figure that out. We'll get back to that, see what we want to do with it. 
And uh, you guys let me know, are you going to be going after this Randy Moss? I'm going to do my best to grab him up, bro. You guys let me know what your, your intentions are with it, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. One love.